I have been putting this and videos similar to this off for quite some time and the buck stops here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, I think it is well time for us to kick off our shoes, let our hair down and get to know each other. That being said, shout out to Roxanne's Retreat for starting and tagging me in this get to know me tag. This tag has been going around for several weeks. I've already seen a number of our faves have participated and I'm late. But I'm here. I have a number of other tags that I need to get done as well, but one at a time, okay? Y'all already know how I'm fighting for my life. We're gonna go ahead and dive into getting to know me and maybe some of my not so popular thoughts when it comes to the fragrance community in just a second. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you are subscribed and of course, make sure that you hit that notification bell, boo, so you don't miss when I upload another video. Yeah. And I'd really appreciate if you gave this video a big fat thumbs up because it's free. It really helps support the channel and it really helps us to grow. If you're interested in anything from the lip gloss that I'm wearing or any fragrances that I mentioned in today's video, make sure that you shop via any available links and discount codes down below in the description box because that also really helps support the channel and you're going to buy it anyway. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Now that that's all out of the way, if you're interested in getting to know me a little bit better, make sure you keep watching. Now the first question, well, I'll say requirement because it's not really a question, is for you to wear your favorite color. So my favorite color is blue and while I don't have many blue tops, I don't wear a lot of it outside of like jeans. Blue has been my favorite color since I was a teeny tiny top. And to be frank, I don't feel like blue really demonstrates the totality of my personality. I feel like blue just gives calm, cool, collective, and adaptable, cause I feel like blue is one of those neutral colors that you can wear with anything, especially a J. But I don't feel like that encompasses all of who I am. Cause while I can be calm, cool, collective, and adaptable, I also have a chaotic and dramatic personality as well which I'm sure a number of you have picked up on if you are a regular viewer here so I could be pulling that out of my ass but all of that to say blue is my favorite color now what is part of my personality is these glasses honey I can't see and I'm sick of fighting my eyes running I'm sick of trying to squint to see all of this little cute packaging so today today we're gonna deal with the glare okay I'm sorry if this bothers you but maybe I can't see next question is where am I from and I feel like it's apparent every time I open my mouth but just in case it's not I am born and raised Baltimore Maryland aka body more murder lane aka home of the wire Next question is to name a fragrance that your partner loves on you if you've been watching my content recently you may already know that I have been stressing reiterating to you all how musk don't miss and that is coming from personal lived experiences. So now this is saying to name one fragrance, but I'm grown. This is my channel. I can do what I want to do. So I'm going to name a couple. Another 13 from Lalabo. Another 13 is one of them ones that can get you in trouble if you ain't careful. Okay. Another one that I would be absolutely remiss if I did not mention. Parfums de Marley's Delina Exclusive. And we don't even have to delve too deep into that one because if you know, you know. This video is probably going to be a little short, but... That's okay. Next question is what is my favorite designer house at the moment? And if I had to think off the top of my head, I would have to give that to Armani. Armani is a fragrance house that I have been purchasing and repurchasing from probably for the longest when it comes to my fragrance collection. I ain't had a fragrance collection that damn long. But me and Armani have been rocking and rolling pretty much since the beginning of my fragrance collection. And to this day, I still love, reach for, and purchase Armani fragrances. Not just for me, but for people I care about as gifts. And while I don't love everything from Armani or deem everything full bottle worthy, they, in my opinion, have been the most consistent. And justice for C. Fiore. Next question is, what is my favorite niche house at the moment? Girl, I don't know. Based on my collection, my favorite niche house at the moment is between Parfums de Marly and Bond Number no. 9. Those are the niche fragrances that I feel like I have the most of. If I know my babies, like I think I know my babies, I have four from each house and I'm probably going to add more. Maybe not right now, but I'm probably going to add more to the lineup for both houses and controversial statement but parfums de marley thus far and bond number nine in my opinion 
have been worth the investment. I don't have performance issues. I get compliments. They're unique and they just give niche quality. In my opinion, Bond Number no. 9 and Parfums de Marley are some of the houses that just are worth the niche price tag and the niche fanfare, at least so far what I've experienced. That could change, but for now, I'm pleased with what I've experienced. Next question is, what is the retail value of your current wish list? So here's the thing. For context, I have a couple different versions of wish lists. I have some fragrances that I am, you know, interested in seeing about type of wish list. And then I have a wish list where, no, I need that. I need that in my collection immediately. But, you know, I may be waiting for a price that I'm willing to pay or, to hopefully get it in PR. But regardless, my point here being that there's a reason that I haven't given you all a wish list video. And that's because my actual wish list of uh, fragrances that I am going to bring into my collection, that video would be two seconds long and my list is probably going to be <laughs> extremely underwhelming. Looking at the fragrances that I know for sure I want to bring into my house, the card is probably under $2,000. Like, I'm just not at the point where I care about everything or I'm just not impressed by a number of the things, especially lately, that are coming out. So, yeah, my wish list child is probably phony as hell compared to a number of people. Next question is What fragrance house would you like to receive PR from? <laughs> All of them. I would love to receive PR from. You know, the, the, the astronomically priced ones, the the Amouages, the Guerlain, Private Line, uh, Creed. I don't know if I said Parfums de Marley, but they up there too. I'm grateful for PR in general from anybody, but those astronomically priced houses that I just named, I want PR from them first. Next question is to name one of my favorite micro influencers in the fragrance community, 2000 or less subbies. I'm almost positive Roxanne just surpassed 2000 subscribers, but I would mention her anyhow, just because she started this tag. Something about Roxanne's personality and spirit just brings a certain fun and joy back to watching fragrance content. I'm still relatively new, but what I have seen thus far, I have very much enjoyed. She is hilarious. She is fabulous. And and the collection is collectioning. Also have to mention Naturally Liz. She is another creator that just brings that joy and fun back to the fragrance community. In addition to that whimsical and just jovial spirit that Liz has, she's hilarious and always has a positive quote or affirmation in every single video. And child, sometimes I be needing to hear it. Oh, another creator that I have to make sure I mention is a lollipop. I think that's how you pronounce her screen name. I'll make sure I have all of that information down below in the description box. She and I don't necessarily have similar tastes when it comes to fragrance, but she's another one that I just find hilarious, captivating, glamorous, fabulous. Okay. And the collection, Again, collectioning. So another channel that I'll have linked down below in the description box. Oh, another creator that I just came across recently and my recommended is, I think her name is Frizz and Fragrance. I just, just, just subscribed to her channel. She is a fellow brace face and a naturalista. So like the name, first of all, I wish I would have thought of. But outside of that, the love of fragrance and just how she delivers her reviews has been a time for me lately as well. So I'll have everyone that I mentioned linked down below in the description box. Yeah, those are off the top of my head, the creators that I can think of that have around 2000 or less. Check all of them out there. They're wonderful. I love them. Next question is, which influencer have you been most influenced by? Child, listen. In your own way, all of y'all owe me some money. Denise Adore, AI the Great, Simply Aisha, Lavishly Chi Chi, Bania Mikkel, Loso Natural, Veronica Says, The Santa Maria, the creators that I mentioned earlier. Regardless of the size of the platform, if we don't share tastes, if we don't have the same ethnicity, aren't the same gender or gender identity, that doesn't necessarily mean that I can't glean something from you and you can glean something from me. And I think that that is one of the most beautiful things about the fragrance community because it's vast, it's limitless. Everyone can bring their own appreciation for the beauty and art that is fragrance in their own way. So yeah, not to get all deep, but 
Everyone influences me, girl. Next question is, what is my favorite release of 2024? And I must have a full bottle. I think if you all have been tuned into my more recent videos, you probably already know the answer to this. But in case you're new here, my favorite release thus far of 2024 has to go to Donna Karen, the Cashmere and Palo Santo. Yes, I think I mentioned that to you all in what, May for the first time? I'm still reaching for it to this day. The dent is denting. I've been contemplating getting a backup bottle. That is just how deep my love for that fragrance runs. It's woody, it's warm, it's sweet, it's addictive, it's sexy, and I'm gonna keep rocking with her, okay? Auntie Donna put her foot in cashmere and Palo Santo. If you have not gotten your nose on it, jump on it, okay? And thank me later. Last question in this tag is, what change would you like to see in the fragrance community? And this is something I could talk about all day, but I'll keep it light. I need brands to get a little more creative. The flankers are tired and I'm sick of vanilla. Do something else. Also need these brands to come up off some coin and not just on the girlies, okay? I need viewers to grow up and understand that fragrance is subjective. That being said, getting PR or disagreeing with you does not make someone a liar, okay? If you think someone that you're watching is lying, please, please understand that the call is coming from inside the house, okay? All you gotta do is stop watching. Very simple. Now for my fellow content creators, first of all, Stop acting like y'all don't know people's names when y'all get inspired by somebody. That don't cost you no money to tell people where you got your idea from or to tag them in your description box or in your cards, okay? Stop stealing. Two, overall, a number of us could be a whole lot better when it comes to engaging, supporting, and commenting on each other's content. I know I could be better. I could drag us content creators forward and backward all day long, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Stop talking about shit you don't enjoy or don't feel like talking about because we can tell, okay? Next. That about wraps up today's video. You all be sure to drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. And if you are a creator or even if you aren't, make sure you answer these questions down below in the comments. I'll make sure I have the questions down below in the description box for anyone who wants to participate. And shout out again to Roxanne and everyone else that tagged me in this. My bad, my bad. I took a little time, but I'm here now. After leaving your comments on this video, on your way to watching another video of mine, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please, please be safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Child, they might cancel my ass after this. I wish my nose would stop running. Oh, Lord, I got a meet. This might make somebody mad, but I said what I said, and y'all not gonna punch me in my face.